The sweet life is something that our next guest is all too familiar with, baking up cookies, pound cake, and toffee shortbread, just to name a few. Joining us now is Sarah Tilson of Treats by Mrs. T. Sarah, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. I'm glad to be here. Of course. Now, Treats by Mrs. T. Love the name, by the way. Thank really. you. <laughs> Love it. Now, how did it first come about, this idea of starting this business? Yeah, so I've loved baking ever since I was a little girl. I grew up watching my grandmother make wedding cakes and do the intricate um, decorating and I would help her set them up at the weddings and she taught me you know basically how to bake and thanks to my mom for letting me experiment all I wanted <laughs> so I really fell in love with the craft um, you know and then uh, during pandemic times just out of necessity just decided to see how well I would do with the cookie that I make my signature cookie and mm -hmm. thanks to uh, my community in Alameda Alameda peeps shout out to Alameda peeps um, for the love and support and when I saw how uh, popular the cookie was and it's a recipe I've been working on for quite a while mm -hmm. um, I decided to go with it you know I was interviewing for other jobs trying to find work and the thought of working for someone else wasn't doing it for me so <laughs> you're like oh, I don't know about <laughs> if, that you know if I can work for myself and and mm -hmm. do what I love and enjoy my my life even more then I want to do that so we we took the leap and and made it come true so wow that's yeah. so now here you are officially sweets by mrs t or treats by mrs t which is so amazing like you said it started off in the pandemic and now a few years later here you are and thriving what kind of support did you receive from the community oh my goodness uh, outpouring you know i've gotten um we have so many loyal repeat customers of course um and all age ranges so you know children love us um people of all ages we also um have been invited to di different pop-ups mm -hmm. we have uh, been participating in all kinds of events um, we just did an event at an opening grand opening of a market down the street from our house so i mean you know the suggestion of things to do and how to grow our business and all kinds of support it's it's been a pretty amazing that is amazing and support is so important especially when Definitely. it comes to small businesses getting your feet up off the ground but now that you've had that how did you have to expand your business knowing hey i'm gonna go all in on this oh yeah absolutely you know we're a um, cottage food operation just out of our, our small home kitchen so when we were um first permitted it was a class a permit so just direct sales now we've upgraded that permit and we can now do wholesale so we're looking to expand and grow the business and be able to sell out of you know local markets coffee shops mm -hmm. and things like that so it's very exciting and I'm glad you mentioned that yes. for our viewers who may not know what is the difference between selling from your home and wholesale yeah so well selling from the home um, with a class A license is just direct to the customer um, as opposed to upgrading to class B where you can sell wholesale so that includes um, any uh, markets or local um, coffee shops just within our Alameda County of course so incredible yeah. well you brought some treats with you today yeah. so I'd love to go over some of the treats that sure. you brought if that's okay so first over here yeah if our, our, our guests can see it what are these treats this is our uh, my take on crispy treat and um, it, this one is is really special in the way that it has turned many non crispy treat lovers into crispy treat lovers um, it is made with brown butter the marshmallows are caramelized it's made with a really good quality vanilla and topped a little sea salt so it sounds really sweet and decadent but it's bad Sounds delicious. <laughs> yeah, it's not really, you know, it's nice and soft and chewy, so it's um, definitely a step up from what you might find out of a up. package. Okay, all right. And what about <laughs> the cookies over here? Yeah, so the chocolate chip is our signature. That's what started the business. That was the recipe I've been working on for quite a while and eventually perfected it, and people love it. Um, again, brown butter based. It's made with, um, topped with sea salt, semi-sweet chocolate chips. It's, it's pretty good. It's chewy, and it's a little bit crispy on the edge. You know, everyone has their preferred chocolate chip cookie, but this is a pretty popular one. And what about the pink one here that's next to it? Sure, that's a sugar cookie. This is one of the newest addition to my uh, cookie menu. It is, it's light, it's delicate, it's made uh, pink by way of a, um, an organic food powder. It, ah, okay. Yeah, Suncor Foods is a woman-owned company. Um, so dragon fruit powder is mixed into it to give it that beautiful pink hue. And actually for Halloween, we used uh, two other colors, blue and purple. Uh, we had a Halloween-themed pop-up yesterday. To get into the spirit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so we were able to kind of, um, you know, switch it up a little bit. 
to be in theme, so. Now you mentioned the brown butter. Mm -hmm. That is a very important ingredient when it comes to some of your treats. Definitely. Why is that a staple? Yeah, well, I mean, because our signature cookie is made with brown butter, I decided to keep experimenting with it because I loved it so much. Mm -hmm. I love the, um, you know, the deep flavor it adds. It's nutty, it, it keeps things from being a little overly sweet. Mm -hmm. And this particular chocolate chip cookie is made with a ton of, of brown sugar as well. So that, that salt and that nuttiness from the brown butter is really important. Ah, incredible. Now, Sarah, what are some of the events that you have coming up that people can look forward to? Yeah, well, we're looking to participate in the West End uh, Mercantile Pop-Up on Webster Street in um, Alameda coming up. And we'll be doing some holiday pop-ups and as well as uh, specialty holiday uh, dessert bar boxes that will be available for pickup and shipping and delivery. And they can follow you, right, on absolutely. social media and you guys will be updating and stuff like that? Yeah, absolutely. And oh. we have a website, too, where you can order direct. But treats by Mrs. T? Treats by Mrs. T. Wonderful. Now, if there is one thing you want people to take away from your treats, your business, whatever it is, what are you hoping that people take away? Um, I just hope that everyone can feel the love that goes into everything that I make. Everything is handmade. You know, everything is made with love. It's all, you know, hard work, but it is a labor of love. And I hope that that comes through in the, the products that I make and the treats that I feed to everyone. Well, I'm, I'm absolutely positive that it will. So thank you so much, Sarah, for joining us here on Live thank in the you. Bay. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. To get more